Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Garmin Vivo Smart 5. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this watch in the color Cool Mint, guys, but it does come in some other great colors which you can see on screen. And the current prices as of recording are $199.99 Canadian or $149.99 American. And I have this watch in the size small medium, but it also comes in a size large. All right guys, so this is what it looks like on me. So as you guys can see, I do come up to the six hole from the bottom here. Once again, this is the size small medium. So if you are someone who does have a larger wrist, they do have it in size large. And I have the corresponding wrist sizes that these can fit on screen for you guys right here for anybody interested in that information. The band here is actually the same size as the one on the Vivo Active 4S and on the Garmin Venue 2S. And it's definitely lightweight and comfortable to wear. And one thing about the band is that if you wanted to, you can swap it out and buy a different color because you can just basically pop this guy out. So to do that, you're just gonna basically, you know, push it out with your fingers. And then you can go ahead and, you know, switch this up if you want to. And you can find, um, you know, pretty affordable bands on Amazon or you can go ahead and get the OEM ones from Garmin. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go into the major highlights about this watch. So it has an OLED monochrome display, an acrylic lens, has touchscreen operation, a battery life up to seven days as a smartwatch. It has an 18 millimeter silicone band. It has Bluetooth and ANT built in, as well as timer, stopwatch. It's water resistant up to five ATM or 50 meters, so it can be used to swim, go in the rain, in the shower, stuff like that. You can see your smartphone notifications, get step reminders, body battery. It tracks your pulse ox, your sleep, your stress. It has relaxation breathing and relaxation reminders. 24 hour heart rate tracking. It can track a variety of metrics like distance and calories burned. It has women's health monitoring. It tracks a variety of activities like running, swimming, and yoga. It has connected GPS, which piggybacks off your phone's GPS for your outdoor activities. So if I was gonna do an outdoor activity like biking, for example, it's going to wait till it's connected to my phone's GPS so you can get your GPS data and route tracked accurately here. And more. Now this is not all of the features on this tracker, but these are definitely some of the most important, I think. So this watch has a OLED display. I actually do find this pretty easy to read indoors and outdoors. So right now you're seeing it indoors under some lighting and it is a little bit reflective, guys. So right now I have the brightness set to auto and this is what it looks like here. But if you wanted to have it brighter or dimmer, you can change it and it goes from one to seven here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, which is pretty bright guys. One thing I do wanna let you guys know is that if you do have the brightness higher, your battery life is going to you know, drain faster. All right guys, so this is what the display looks like outdoors in the sunlight, natural lighting. And I personally do find it pretty easy to read outdoors. Once again, I do have it set to auto brightness. So if you are outside and you have your brightness a bit lower, you might need to pump it up a bit so you can read it easily. To get to your sleep tracking, you just press the button and then I'm gonna swipe up and see basically my metrics here until I get to sleep. So here's my sleep from last night, guys. And as you could see, I slept for 8.2 hours and I have a sleep score of 82%. And it also says I slept good. So this is a good amount of sleep information just right off the bat here. And then if you click on it, you can see your time awake, your time in light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. And then if you go onto the Garmin Connect app, guys, you can see a little graph that corresponds to how you slept. So I honestly think the sleep tracking here is pretty good, better than some I've seen in the past. I think Garmin is still a little bit off when it does come to sleep tracking. I think that's like the only weak point they have that they need to work on. But when I do compare it to, you know, one of my Fitbits, like the Fitbit Lux here, I did find the sleep tracking pretty accurate, guys. So this watch has a quoted battery life up to seven days as a smartwatch. And with my uses, which I have on screen for you guys, things like walks, runs, daily alarms, cardio workouts, and more, I have gotten five days of battery life with this tracker. So I think that's pretty good, guys. I only have to charge this thing once a week. So I think this could fit really well into a lot of people's lifestyles, especially people who do not want to charge something every single day. 
So I do find a little bit time consuming to get to some areas of the watch, but I will say that this is not the easiest watch to use, not the hardest. I kind of find it in the middle. You know, it is mostly touchscreen operated, so you kind of have to swipe in different directions to get to what you want and click on things to see bigger views. In addition to that, if you have any notifications come in, they will just pop up on the screen. I'll show you guys a quick notification right now for anybody wondering what that does look like. All right guys, so I have a text coming in, shows you the sender, then you just click on it and you can scroll up to read. If you wanna reply, click on that and then you can go ahead and select a response. And if you click any of these responses, like if you say thanks, just go ahead and click the check mark and it will send that for you. Something I don't like about it is that it doesn't really have a shortcut menu. Like a lot of other watches, if you swipe one way or another, you can see shortcuts, but you don't really have that here. And sometimes it can take a long time to get to a certain thing. Like if you wanted to get to water tracking, I can't just go and like press a button to do that. I have to go ahead and swipe a bunch of times to actually get to it. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go into women's health. So if you are a male, you don't wanna see this, you can use timestamps, to skip to the next section. But for all my ladies out there, this watch does come with a built-in women's health tracking app. So to get to that, you're just gonna swipe up until you find it. Here it is, this has your cycle data. And then you can click on it and you can log any symptoms that you have. And you could say if your period has started, if your watch hasn't picked that up. So you can go ahead and click on edit and then you can add any of the physical symptoms that you are feeling. If you feel any of these, you know, just go ahead and click it. And then you can also track your mood. your sex drive information, and that's it, guys. So you do have a good amount of information, you know, available at your fingertips here, but if you do wanna go into the app, you will have a more advanced view, and you could see your period prediction there as well. So something I do like about this watch is that it does have vibration alarms, and they work really well. It's a nice gentle vibration to wake you up in the morning. And something else I like about this watch is step reminders. So the step reminder messages are nice. You know, it, it gives you a nice message to get moving and it uses your name, which I like. You don't really see that on the smartwatches. Like something pops up and it will just like say move. <laughs> So I've had this for almost a month now. I found the durability is holding up really nicely. So just looking at my display here, guys, I don't think I have any noticeable scratches on here. Now, this is made of an acrylic material, the lens here, but I'm finding it pretty good. Like I wear it, you know, constantly and do my daily errands. And sometimes, you know, you bang your arms into walls or, you know, things happen, but it is looking good so far, guys. I'm happy with the durability. And the band so far is holding up very nicely. And it does have that nice pattern that we have seen on various Garmin watches in the past. So coming over to the heart rate sensor here at the bottom, guys, it is very smooth. And when it is on, you honestly don't really feel the bump here at all. It kind of just is level with your skin. So I really like it here. It's comfortable. And I'm finding the heart rate to be pretty accurate. For your watch faces, we are limited to what is on the watch here. We cannot download more from the Garmin Connect IQ app. So I'll just show you guys all of the watch faces here. There are definitely some nice options. All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the battery life, the accuracy, the durability, the comfort, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this a 7.9 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Garmin Vivo Smart 5, I've gone ahead and left the link down in the description for you to use. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.